variety of ways to combine shadow box and clipping brushes to make hard surface models in ZBrush 4. In this demonstration, I'm going to make a simple tank turret. And this is similar to techniques that Steve Warner used to create his tank model shown here. I've turned on the polyframe button so you can see the shadow box has been organized into polygroups, one polygroup for each plane. And I can hold the control and shift key and click on each one of the planes to hide them. This will become useful later on when I create my masks on the side of Shadowbox. I'm going to demonstrate by drawing out a rectangle in the front view and then another on the side and you can see what I'm left with. Now if I switch to the curve stroke type for the mask, so I'm drawing the curve, clicking the Alt button to add a point to the curve, and then holding the Alt key and releasing to erase part of the mask. And you'll see I'm not getting the result that I would expect. The reason is, is because when I hold the Alt key and released, it essentially erased the mask on the side, but also on the back plane as well. So I'm not getting the result that I would expect. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to turn on Polyframe just to demonstrate. And I'm going to hide the back plane, even though it's still masked. So now it's hidden from view. And again, I'm going to draw out a similar curve using the curve stroke type. I'll hold the Alt key to erase that part of the mask. And you can see now I get the result that I expect. I have a nice curve that's sort of chopped off in the back. I'll do the same thing for the front here of the turret. And I'm just defining a very basic turret shape using the curve stroke types just to erase parts of the mask that I drew on the side view. So if I unhide the back plane, you can see that the mask there has not been affected by the mask that I drew on the side view. And I'm gonna do a similar thing. I'm gonna hide everything except for the top view switch to the rectangle stroke type just to create a basic shape here. If I draw my rectangular mask, I trim that down a little bit, and now I can switch over to the curved stroke type. Start defining the way the turret looks from the top. So again, I'm just drawing out the curve, clicking the Alt button whenever I want to create a point in the curve, holding the Alt key to erase parts of the mask, and that leaves me with the curved surface in the front, and I'm going to do something similar for the back. And now I have a basic mesh that uh, resembles a very simple tank turret. So at this point I'm ready to move over to refining the surface using the clipping brushes. Now from the side view, I'm holding Control and Shift and I'm using the curve stroke type to start to define the contours of the profile of the tank turret. Now I'm going to do the same thing from the front view. I'm starting to trim down the sides here. I'm going to mask the front of the tank so that I can work just on the back with the clipping brush. Once again, with the curved stroke type, clipping off this part of the surface, and I get a nice angle there. I can do the same thing for the bottom. And now I'm going to mask off the back of the turret and clip into my surface again using the curved stroke type using the rectangular stroke type just to trim off the front and get a nice straight edge to the front of the turret. And now I have sort of the beginnings of a turret here. So I'm pressing the Remesh All button and this creates a new mesh based on the original mesh. And now to transfer some of the sharp edges from the original to the new one, I'm pressing the Project All button and it shrink wraps the new mesh to match the contours of the original mesh. I'm going to use one of Steve Warner's tricks for making harder edges on the surface of the remesh. I'm opening the deformation sub palette and pressing negative one into the new inflate balloon deformer and this helps to sharpen up the edges. And then finally I'll use the relax deformer on the surface. At this point, it's just a matter of using the sculpting brushes to refine the edges of my tank turret. Take a look online at uh, ZBrush Central and check out some of the work done by ZBrush artists such as Steve Warner who were uh, using the ZBrush 4 during the beta period uh, to get some interesting ideas on how you can create hard surface models such as tanks and planes and vehicles and armor and so on and so forth uh, using these and other techniques.